Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dhawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss about how to conduct transmission channel in AVUs. It is very well possible that a variable is affected by the series of independent variables. Let's try to understand this statement. The hypothesis is that the capital causes GDP and the GDP causes employment. So you can see the transmission channel which is being generated. This hypothesis is for short run, which means that it is a, there is a short run causality running in these variables. Indirectly, we want to say that the capital causes employment. This is known as a transmission channel. The basic assumption is that all these three variables become stationary at first difference and at level, they are non-stationary. This we can very well check by running the augmented Dickey Fuller test. How to run the augmented Dickey Fuller test? Kindly refer to my playlist in which I have talked about unit root testing. All these variables are integrated of the same order so that we can run Johansson cointegration test. Now, how to do this in AVUs? Let's see. So, we are having the data file where capital, employment, and GDP is available. First of all, we'll select all three of them, open as group. Now we will have to run the co-integration test. For this view co-integration test Johansson system co-integration test. Normally the third one is selected we will keep the lags one. Click OK. Maximize the result. The null hypothesis in this case is there is no co-integrating vector co-integrating equation which is present the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore we reject it i have discussed about co-integration test in my previous videos you can kindly refer it the null hypothesis is that at least one co-integrating vector is present here the p-value is more than 0 0.05 we fail to reject null hypothesis it means that at least one co-integrating equation is present. Now, again, we will go in the variable view. Now, I will select GDP as a dependent variable first and then capital. So, remember the chronology of the selection depends because on that basis it will create the model so i'm saying gdp capital employee open as var i'll go in var restrictions uh, i'll have to go in vcm model i'll have to specify co-integration one co-integration equation is specified click ok and it will generate the result I'll again go in PROC, make system, order by variable. So the GDP is in is dependent variable and the capital has been kept independent variable. I'll copy this result in my Word file. Copy. Now I'll have to remember that the C4 and C5 are the coefficients of the capital. And therefore, I'll be carrying out the wall test on these variables only. But before doing running the wall test, I will have to run quick, estimate the equation, control V, click OK. I got the result. Now I'll run view coefficient diagnostics. Wall test coefficient restrictions. I'll specify C4 equal to C5 equal to 0. Basically, I want to say that capital is not affecting the GDP in short run. So I'll click OK. And the result is as the p value is more than 0 0.05, we can say here that in short run, this c4 and c5 are not going to influence gdp so 
as the p-value is more than 0 0.05, we fail to reject null hypothesis and therefore short-run causality is not established. I can again check this same. I can again check for employment else also. The coefficients are C6 and C7. So again, I'll go back here, view, coefficient diagnostics, wall coefficient restrictions. This time I'll write C6 is equal to C7 equal to zero. Click OK. Again, my p-value is greater than 0 0.05. We fail to reject null hypothesis. It means that in short run, the employment is not affecting the GDP. So at present, you can see here, three windows are, four windows are active. One, two, three, and four. We will close this and again come back to the original window where the equation was there. Now this time I'll be running for, I'll consider employment as my dependent variable and all others are independent variable. So I'll take the employment from here, I'll copy this and I'll be running in the model. Quick, control V, click. Okay, I got the results. Now, we will have to see the coefficients of the model. I want to say that my employment is getting affected by the GDP. The coefficients of GDP are 18 and 19. So, I'll again go back here, view coefficient diagnostics, wall test coefficient restrictions C18 equal to C19 equal to 0. My null hypothesis is jointly, jointly the GDP, this GDP is not affecting the employment. You can see here again the p-value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore GDP is not affecting the employment. I can again test this thing for capital also. The coefficients of capital are C20 and C21. So I'll again go back in the model. I'll view coefficient diagnostics, wall test and I'll be running C20 and C21, I'll specify C20 equal to C21 equal to 0. So here also the p-value is more than 0 0.05, we fail to reject null hypothesis. It means that there is no short-run causality running from capital to GDP and there is no short-run causality running from GDP to employment and therefore we can prove that there is no significant effect of capital, increase in capital on employment. This is just a hypothetical data. The practical things can be different. For more videos on econometrics, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Kindly press the like button. Thank you.